Hello everybody, welcome to Desi USA. We're here today with uh, Mihir Meghani. He's the president of uh, Hindu American Foundation. We'll be talking to him um, today and getting to know about the organization, the foundation, what it does and uh, what roles it plays in the society today. So Mihir, can you tell us something about the foundation? What, what do you do here? What is your role and the role of the foundation here in the US? Absolutely, Parinas. I'll be glad to talk about the Hindu American Foundation. For those of us who are involved in the group, it's been really a passion and a great experience. Over the last five years, our mission has been to focus on advocacy. And what that means is representing the viewpoints of Hindus in America to people who shape public policy and public opinion. That means that we try to represent the viewpoints of Hindu Americans, whether we're from India or Africa or white American Hindus, black Hindus or Hindus from Fiji or other countries, uh, people who've never even been to India, representing these viewpoints to people who shape public policy and public opinion. So we deal with elected officials from the people in the local areas of the San Francisco Bay Area, like Fremont, Sunnyvale and San Jose, to the state level and to the national level journalists, people in the legal system, leaders of other interfaith groups, academics, and prominent people across the United States. So our, we're an advocacy group representing 1 billion Hindus in America, uh, well, I'm sorry, 1 billion Hindus worldwide and about 2 million Hindus in America. Great. What differentiates your foundation from so many other foundations that keep coming up over here? Mm -hmm. what, what differentiates mm -hmm. that? There, there are several things that make this, the Hindu American Foundation unique from other Hindu or Indian or South Asian groups. And I'll name them. One is that we're not a religious group that's trying to educate people about religion. There are temples for that, there are spiritual leaders and sadhus and swamis. We're not here for that. We're here to represent the Hindu American viewpoint to people who are non-Hindu. The second thing is that we're not an Indian group, although most Hindus are Indian and most of us in the organization are of Indian descent, we're not trying to overlap with what other Indian groups are doing or what other South Asian groups are doing. We're here to represent the Hindu viewpoint and represent it in a very credible and effective way, not in a way that someone would call extremist or way to the right or to the left, but really representing the moderate and uh, acceptable viewpoints of Hindus in America. What we try to do is take the issues that affect all Hindus worldwide, whether we're from Fiji or uh, in India, or mostly the uh, issues affecting Hindus in America, and represent them to people who need to understand the role of our community. We're the richest community in America, uh, we are the most educated community, and probably the most successful religious and ethnic community in, in this country. But what we haven't done is represented our viewpoints in America well. Uh, Sikhs and Jews, Muslims, and of course Christians in this country have represented their viewpoints very, very well. We haven't done that. We need to invest in our future. How can the Hindus promote this organization if we need to expand, grow it? How can the Hindus here help you do that? Mm -hmm. Well, we started five years ago with just a few volunteers and, and a few people who decided to take on the leadership of this group. But over five years, we've grown to over 2,000 members. And in the San Francisco Bay Area, we have almost one-fourth of our national membership right here. Just uh, on November 7th, we had our annual dinner program in Sunnyvale with the Lieutenant Governor of California. Mm -hmm. We had mayors of some of the uh, local cities in the San Francisco Bay Area. And this is our largest dinner event. We raised about $200,000. What people can do is decide how they'd like to get involved. Mm -hmm. If they want to be volunteers, they can contact us through our website, www dot h a f site dot org that's h a f s i t e dot org um, and they can look us on the uh, internet uh, do a google search for hindu american foundation people can become members at fifty one dollars a very reasonable amount and then people can decide that they would like to donate and they can donate larger amounts of money or appreciated stocks or assets or provide resources and references for us so there are a lot of ways to get involved and we need to be involved. We are the third largest religious group in the world. There are a billion Hindus worldwide, but we don't have a really good voice internationally. Mm -hmm. There's no country that represents Hindus. Uh, of course, India is a secular country. We don't have any leading international NGO that represents us much like the organization of Islamic countries or some of the leading Jewish groups that are very effective in representing themselves. Mm 
And we don't have a leader of the stature of the Pope, for example, who represents Catholics. So it's really up to Hindus to decide how do we want to represent ourselves. And in America, where we have a right, we have a, a way for us to be involved, mm -hmm. there's no reason we can't be. With the kind of money we have in the community, the kind of dedication we have, uh, the values we have, such as education, hard work, and a very, very universal, tolerant, and open spiritual uh, uh, belief that accepts other paths and other religions. There's no reason we can't be more accepted in this country and there's no reason we can't contribute more to this society based on our spirituality. Okay. Uh, how big is your organization and do you all have other centers like you said you know you can come and volunteer so is it only in the Bay Area or mm -hmm. because there would be people all over the US who would mm -hmm. like to volunteer like to grow this organization so where are you all located mm -hmm. other than we have an office in Washington, D.C. We're the only Hindu organization with an office and four full-time staff in the nation's capital. This is really important because if we don't have a voice in the most powerful city in this country, we're not going to be able to make change with a new administration or with the United Nations or the European Union or other policymakers. And we have four full-time staff. We've gone from being a totally volunteer group to actually having the money and funding that we can hire professionals. We have three Hindu Americans in their uh, in age 20s, 30s, young professionals who are taking pay cuts of 50% to work full time because they believe we need to have this voice and mission. But beyond that, office and staff, we have volunteers across the country that are working on various projects. And here in the San Francisco Bay Area, where we have the largest membership of our organization, we have regular meetings every month. Again, you can go to our website and contact us and, and get involved with our organization in the San Francisco Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And if you are in some other part of the country, you may also get involved uh, as well. And we're building up teams locally. But our main focus has been on changing the national picture. We have local temples and groups that are doing local events and projects. We focus on the national picture, dealing with the US Congress, national journalists, the United States Supreme Court. But we are now expanding to having more local events so that people can stay connected with what's happening. And because we also realize that tomorrow's national policymakers are, are today's local and state level policymakers. We are with uh, Mihir Magani, the president of uh, HAF, Hindu American Foundation. And uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> 